Hi guys, today I'm going to be talking about failure. Now I'm going to start off from a general perspective and then I'm going to talk a little bit about um, mental and emotional health and how to deal with setbacks there. Now when we think of failure, we often um, think of it with very negative connotations. We tend to associate or equate failing with being a loser and the reality is um, that failure is inevitable. It's part and parcel of any process of worthwhile change. I mean ultimately none of us are born an expert at anything and in order for us to be able to learn we need to make mistakes, we need to have setbacks. The thing is we oftentimes find ourselves identifying with failure. You know we associate it as being something personal a personal character flow whereas it's not that at all it's basically that we may not have been equipped with sufficient sufficient knowledge or resources at the time and you know we learn from our experience we pick ourselves up we dust ourselves off and we get on our merry way again um, and it's it's about the personal growth that goes with failure so um, you know never be afraid to step outside of your your comfort zone or worry that people are going to judge you because you know you you experience a setback because ultimately it's the people who never do anything that tend to judge the people who are out there you know making mistakes experiencing failure but yet living their lives um so it's about being able to take a risk it's it's about allowing yourself to be vulnerable and it's important when we decide what we what's worth taking a risk for that we're doing it based on what our authentic authentic self actually requires, what our internal um, needs, what our values are, what our core beliefs are, as opposed to what we think other people expect of us or what we think other people will approve of, or even what our own expectations for ourselves is. Because we tell ourselves stories about what we should be, you know, how successful we should be, what kind of li- lifeline we should follow, our trajectory we, we, we need to walk in order to um to fit in to our idea of what a successful life looks like and i mean ultimately it's so subjective it's different for everybody else and we need to go with our heart's desire as opposed to always going with what we think um will gain us the acceptance and the approval of the masses i mean ultimately we're being far too easily influenced by our social media content in particular with regards to what our goals and objectives are. I mean, it's like as if, you know, there's all these kind of um, set points that you have to tick off as you go through life. And ultimately, you're going completely against sometimes what it is that your actual true desires are. So try to tap into the person who you were before you became the person that you had to be. When it comes to your mental and emotional health, oftentimes failures and setbacks can be devastating, particularly if you have been struggling for a significant amount of time, you've noticed improvements and then things have dipped down again. But I suppose it's important to highlight to people that I know I know I see it in all of my clients and I see it in my own personal life that when you're in a good place it feels like as if things are have never been bad and can never be bad again but when you're in a bad place it genuinely feels like things have never been good um you cannot remember a time when things were okay you cannot envisage a time when things are okay and the reason i'm talking about this i suppose it's it's linked into suicide prevention month but for people to know that that's normal, that it's a temporary mindset and that everyone experiences it. So that when you're in that low place, the fact that you can see no light at the end of the tunnel is how everyone feels at some stage. Uh, You are not alone in it. And that literally within the space of 24 hours, things can look so different. Like the amount of people that I wish I could take their hand and just bring them a little bit into the future so they see how much better things can get.
um, is incredible. Um, but again, sometimes it can be a very hard sell convincing somebody that things will very quickly get better because we don't tend to to stay in a place too long if we have um, a faith and hope that things will get a little bit easier. And it's never like life isn't designed to be easy. This idea that we have to be happy, I think, is certainly um, contributing to a lot of people's mental health issues because it feels like as if whenever we're down, it's nearly uh, that we're going against the grain or, you know, that there's, there's something inherently wrong with us. But the reality is some of us struggle and that's OK. You know, it's, it's just trying not to over identify with that struggle, realizing that there can be something better, that there will be something better. If this is something that you would like to work with me on or if you're experiencing struggles in any area of your life, get in touch with me on the website. It's fundamentals.ie or get in touch on Instagram or Facebook. I also release a regular podcast with Neil O'Brien covering all things mental health and purposeful living it's called touchy and feely it's available on itunes and spotify go check it out like share subscribe let me know what you think and all of my content is on my youtube channel which is fiona feely so go check it out like share subscribe and if there's anything you'd like me specifically to talk about i'd be delighted to so send me through any of the ideas you may have